Why were two ladies wearing giant wiener hats at Dodger Stadium? How many seconds does it take for a celebrity to act like a douchebag? And we finally found a boob bigger than Chris Bosh in Miami. All that and more on this episode of Ride the Pine. <laughs> Two very attractive ladies sat behind home plate at a recent Dodgers game wearing hot dog hats. Now a lot of shows out there would be very immature about this subject, making some sort of joke about the wieners and the buns on the top of their heads, but not us. Our brow is very high. We were just happy that the girls got some practice in before they had to go to the post-game party in the clubhouse where they would be wearing Roman soldier helmets instead. <laughs> The hot dog hats got us thinking about maybe here at Ride the Pine, we should do some sort of promotional event, right? What do you think? Like, what if we invite a bunch of fans to come to our studios slash my basement and watch us film a show live? I think that would be a lot of fun. And when they come here, we give them some sort of fun, cool thing and maybe like, like a fruit hat. Wait a minute, that looks like, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> For the first time all season, Chris Bosh wasn't the biggest boob in Miami, and those were the only things that flopped worse than LeBron James. <laughs> Whoa, check out this hot chick trying to grab a ball from a baseball player at a recent Royals game. Isn't it so nice to be a hot chick? You can get anything you want until a little kid gets involved because he doesn't give a poo. Never change, little man. That thing is powerful. Let's go ahead and get the douchebag clock out. Let's see how long it takes this celebrity to act like a douchebag. Ready, go, and it's over, what? That's a new record. A horse named Palace Malice won the 145th running of the Belmont Stakes. And in celebration, Ron Artest promised to go find a fan in a Pistons jersey and punch them in the face. 